welcome. My name is Lucas Lechuga, and I'm your host of MiamiRealEstate.tv. Today, I'm super excited because I'm at the recently completed sales gallery of the St. Regis Residences Miami, my favorite hospitality brand in the world. If you're in the market for a luxury pre-construction development in Brickell that's on the water, this is the only play in town. In a bit, we're gonna be meeting up with senior sales executive, Catalina Martinez, who's gonna explain why that's the case and tell us all about this exciting development. Welcome to the show, Catalina. Thank, Thank you so much for having me here. The sales gallery is gorgeous. And just for the viewers, behind us is Biscayne Bay. So this is a waterfront development I'm very excited about. It. It's the only waterfront, uh, bayfront development in all of Brickell. So very exciting. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, we're very excited. We just opened the sales gallery about a month ago. Mm -hmm. So you can experience the luxury of St. Regis. For those, I'm sure, most of the viewers are familiar with the brand, but let's go back to the history of the brand and what makes St. Regis brand so special. Sure, we're very excited to have St. Regis because it's a, a unique brand. It was founded in 1904 by the Astor family. The brand is synonym of tradition, luxury, and innovation. Mm -hmm. Its motto is live exquisite, where service and luxury goes hand by hand. They operate around 50 hotels worldwide Mm. Uh, they're curating the most captivating places. And fast forward today, the brand became a true luxury icon. They're known for the five-star first-class experience. In St. Bridges, Miami Residences, one of the most exclusive and luxurious developments in South Florida, we're going to have residences of St. Bridges with all the amenities of the hotel. How many residences in total? We have over 149 residents, 150 residences total. Mm -hmm. uh, that range from two bedrooms plus then up to seven bedrooms. And these are all large floor plans. What's the smallest floor plan? Our smallest residence is a two bedroom plus then three and a half bathrooms. That is 2,616 square feet. Wow, that's your smallest. That's our smallest. And, and, our, and our largest uh -huh. is uh, our duplexes and sky residences and penthouses that are up to 10,000 square feet. And I believe you have two villas off the pole deck? We have two beautiful villas, mm -hmm. uh, single family homes, that mm -hmm. are around 8,000 square feet. 8,000. With private garage, uh, interior pool. One of them has two pools, correct? Yes. Like so we have a total of three pool decks, mm -hmm. one interior lap pool, 75 foot long. It's one of the only developments in South Florida that has an interior lap pool next mm -hmm. to the spa. And then we have another two pool decks, with, of course, all the services of St. Regis, uh, food and beverage, pool attendants. Living in St. Regis, residences Miami, you, it's like living at a resort with all mm. the amenities and services that they provide. Back to the floor plans. So what's the composition of the floor plans besides the, the small and the large? Yeah, so our smallest, as I said, is a two bedroom plus den. Then we have our three bedrooms plus den. They're about mm. 3,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Then we have our four bedroom residences. They also include a service room, so it's five bedrooms in total. Mm -hmm. Those are about 3,700 square feet. And then we have our combo residences. They're about from 6,000 to 7,400 square feet. Then we have our duplexes. They're 25 foot ceiling, gorgeous views. Wow. Absolutely. All our residences. 25 feet. Yes, all our residences are designed around the views. And behind us, this is 10 and a half feet, correct? This is 10 and a half feet. Wow, so over exactly. two times as big as this. Most of our residences are and a half foot ceilings. Mm -hmm. And then we have a few that are 25 foot. Wow, incredible. High. So the standard floor plan has four floor plans, the A, B, C, and D, correct? And then- That's a typical you, key plan. Yes, that's a typical key plan. And then you mentioned some combos. So the combos are on the south side of the building? We have two different type of combos. We, we, we combined our four bedroom residences mm -hmm. that are facing directly to the water. Okay. And then we also combine our south side. So the A and the B are in the front, the a facing and B, the water, correct. correct. And then the B and the D are our side, okay. our south facing. And it's kind of like the building is kind of triangular shaped, correct? But like with rounded corners, right? Correct. And all of our residences are corner units. We also angled the building towards mm -hmm. the water, so our back residences have all water views yep. as well. And that's what's really great about it is that even if you're in the back, you're, you're still facing the water because of the setback of the neighboring building, which to the north is Santa Maria, and then to the south, you're clearing what, over the 25th floor? Over the 20th floor. 20th. Over the 20th okay. floor, we clear Brickle Place, which mm -hmm. is four buildings. Yep. 
And to our north, we have complete and obstructed water views since Santa Maria is set back. Yes. So we're kind of like set forward. Yeah, that's fantastic. Which is unique. And, oh, and another very unique. amazing feature of St. Regis is our location. Mm -hmm. We're located on South Brickle and 18th. South Brickle is considered to be the most exquisite and exclusive area in Brickle. It, um, it's along Brickle Avenue from 15th to 25th Street. Yep. And back in the 80s and 90s, this area became famous because of its views. We're on mm -hmm. the water and it's very quiet and luxurious, but yet close distance and walking distance to the hardest entertainment, beautiful restaurants and mm -hmm. great shopping destinations. So we're on 18th and Brickle on three acres of land, almost 3.2 acres, that goes from Brickell Avenue all the way to Biscayne Bay. Correct. And one thing about Brickell, so Brickell, for those that are unfamiliar with Miami, is also known as the financial district of Miami. So a lot of people associate financial district with being full of condo high rises, which it is, and it's kind of like a concrete jungle, but Southern Brickell is more residential. It's Absolutely. quiet. You see nannies pushing the strollers with their kids. It's close to all that, all the restaurants and all that, but you're not in the middle of it. Exactly. And what's really nice is that you're able to go south from here and jump on 95 in minutes. Whereas if you're in the heart of Brickell, it could take you a half an hour just to get into yes, 95. Yes, absolutely. For sure. That's great. Our proximity to Key Biscayne, we are 20 minutes away from the airport. We're seven minutes away from Coconut Grove. Mm -hmm. And easy access to Brickell or to Windwood, Edgewater, or even Miami Beach. Let's talk about the architect and the design, because that's really special. Yes, so one of the most spectacular aspects of St. Bridges is our architect, besides, of course, the brand mm -hmm. and the developer. The architect is Robert M. Stern from Ramsa Architects. Mm -hmm. That firm has over 50 years of experience wow. and is one of the most acclaimed arch architects in the world. He has mm -hmm. won numerous awards for his work. He has experience in institutional, commercial, and residential. Uh, you know him for his skyscrapers in New York. Mm -hmm. One of the most expensive residents ever sold to date in the United States is actually his in 220 Central Park South. Mm -hmm. The penthouse was sold for over $250 million. Wow. So anything that Stern designs or creates mm -hmm. becomes iconic and emblematic. Yeah. He has buildings like One Bennett in Chicago. He has buildings all over the world, um, Asia, Europe, South wow. America. You were mentioning the other day that he has a following with where these ultra wealthy buyers will Absolutely. buy wherever he builds, like wherever yes, he designs. Yes, it's pretty special because we have two different followers. We have mm -hmm. the San Regis followers, mm -hmm. which is what we call the Lumineers. They're sophisticated, glamorous, driven, mm -hmm. and they want to be part of the brand experience of St. Regis. And we have, of course, the same um, the Stern followers who mm -hmm. love his architecture. Yep. Uh, we have a lot of followers from New York, from Chicago, from Europe that know. Um, who he's, and it's amazing to have architects like him because the quality and the uh, design for this building is going to be unique. So we were talking off camera about the site location itself and um, somebody in the room had mentioned that, you know, what's going to prevent other developers from doing the same thing, knocking down some of the old buildings around this area yes. and then building it anew. And what was your response? Well, it's, it's impossible because mm -hmm. what happened with this site is that our developer purchased about 14 years ago. And now all the sites are developed, they mm -hmm. are condominiums that have individual owners. Yeah. So it's really impossible to be able to replicate St. Bridges in this site. So we're the true last piece of land available from Brickell to Biscayne Bay. Yeah, and then there's some large condominium kind of developments around here that are comprised of multiple towers, which is almost impossible to get everybody on board to sell to a developer. It's, it's difficult enough to get just one association to agree to the terms. So yes, exactly. To get two to three different towers. Brickell Place has four towers. I mean, that's going to be... Three different associations. So. Yeah. So that's going to be like near impossible to ever do. Impossible. So we are amazingly located, as I said, because mm -hmm. we have not an obstruction from either side of, of our piece of land. Mm -hmm. And as I said, Brickle Place uh, over the 20th floor, you clear it completely. And we designed the south side around the views mm -hmm. as well. And how about the developer? You mentioned... So Related Group mm -hmm. and Integra. Uh, okay. It's a joint venture. Related has, for the past 43 years, transformed the urban living in Miami transform the landscape. Mm -hmm. They have built over 65,000 residences, valued over $20 billion. Mm -hmm. And uh, Related has expanded also to different cities around the world, from 
New York, California, Texas, Colombia, Brazil, Mexico. Mm. And this development is the most luxurious and exclusive development that they ever created. So we're very excited about that. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. I think it's by far going to be the nicest in South Florida. Absolutely. And, you know, when you talk about options, I'm getting calls from buyers from New York, Chicago, all over the United States and all over the world that are asking, hey, I want to be in Brickell, but I want to be on the Bay. I'm like, well, there's literally no other option. I mean, St. Regis is the only option, especially if you're, if you're, if you have very high standards and you know you want top-notch quality. But because of the lack of 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 land and, and buildings that are available to to be sold, um, there aren't any options. This is the only game in, in, in town. Absolutely, and not only that, it's just the team behind it. Uh, as I said, not the architect, the brand, the developer, mm -hmm. but also the interior architect, David Rockwell from yeah. the Rock Group. He specializes in luxury hospitality. He has offices in Madrid, LA, and New York. Mm -hmm. um, he is an expert in residential as well. Recently, he finished 15 Hudson Yards. He also has done hotels like the one, the edition, uh, several Nobus. Mm -hmm. We also have our landscape architect in Sunea. He's yeah. also one of the best landscape architects mm -hmm. in the world. He's designed over a thousand gardens, including wow. uh, Prince Charles, and many other uh, museums, spas, residential and commercial work. And this is well. going to be a privately gated development, correct? Absolutely. So when people, when residents and their guests come up to the building, there's going to be a gatehouse. There. Yes, and when you come through the building, uh, the idea of the landscape architect of Enso is to create a canopy of trees, mm -hmm. kind of like a country house, where you come in and then you unveil this beautiful entrance next to the water. Mm -hmm. So we try to combine the elements of the ocean with ama amazing architecture from Stern, from the obelisk, the, um, the different design from, from uh, Rockwell to create okay. this masterpiece. How about amenities? What's, where are the amenities located on the building and, and what are, so amenities, what's the building offering? We have over 50,000 square foot of amenity space wow. for only 149 residences, so that's, that's amazing. Impressive. The spa will be absolutely spectacular, curated by the Remit Spa with sauna, steam rooms, salt water steam rooms, treatment facilities, uh, mm -hmm. Pilates, yoga, spinning, an amazing fitness facility curated by the Fit Gym from California, okay. which they specialize in movement as well. And a beautiful, as I said, lap pool, interior lap pool. You have an amazing restaurant. Um, one of, St. Regis is known for its traditions, its rituals, old and new, mm -hmm. and one, pillar that is known, Savage is known for, is the food, mm, okay. food and beverage. Mm -hmm. So we are proud to announce uh, Fabio Trebocchi, one of the best Italian chefs in the United States. He has a Michelin star for his restaurant Fiola in, in Washington, D.C. Yep. He's going to be heading our food and beverage. I was just at the Coral Gables one, I don't know, maybe two or three Fiola. weekends ago. Yeah, yeah it's Amazing, delicious. I love that place. Incredible. And he's going to be actually opening our fine dining restaurant only for mm. residents and their guests, wow. located on the first level. Beautiful design. He has mm. an amazing dorm, an amazing countertop. Um, so that's going to be also servicing our residences mm -hmm. uh, with room in in room dining. So before I get to the finishes, because at the very end, what I'd like you to do is give us a tour of this model residence. Happy. But Absolutely. before we get into that, in case people are interested in purchasing a unit, what's the timeline for delivery? Or uh, let's get into the de deposit schedule first. So we're going straight to contract with 20%. Mm -hmm. Then we start construction beginning of next year. Yeah. We require another 10%. And then the other 10% to complete 40% is due a top off, which would be 2025. Completion date will be 2027, beginning okay. of 2027. What's great about 2027, a lot of people ask me, they're like, hey, there's a lot of construction that's all gonna be delivered around 2026, 2027. Do you think there's gonna be a correction in the market? And typically I would, normally I would probably answer them, you know what, it makes sense. There's gonna be a lot of supply coming onto the market, however, that's going to coincide with the delivery of two Class A office buildings, which one of them being the Citadel being uh, Citadel office yes, building, Luke. and then the other one related, which is going to be on Eighth and Brickell. So that's going to bring an array of of high paying jobs, high net worth and individuals all at once around 2026, 2027, and they're going to be looking at buildings like St. Regis, and by that time. 
hopefully within the next six months or so, like you guys will be completely sold out. And those buyers will have to wait until these contract holders close with the developer and then they're gonna to have to buy as resales. So Absolutely. it's gonna be very sought after and you're already see, starting to see some of the Citadel employees coming down and, 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 and buying ahead of the relocation because they know that you know Miami is one of the hottest cities, if not the hottest city for real estate markets in the United States. Yeah, many other companies in tech, mm -hmm. blockchain. And, and, and the interesting thing about that is that St. Regis is unique. There's nothing like St. Regis around. Yep. Uh, so that's why if you want a full service, five star, first class experience, St. Regis is the option. For sure. For South Brickle. And if you look at it, if you think about it, so St. Regis will be completed in like 2027, let's say. What's the most recently completed Bayfront building in Miami besides the St. Regis? Like what's the second? Um, it would have to be Icon Brickle, right? But that's like 2010. That was, yeah, 2010. 17 year difference. You know, and if you go back, and, and I wouldn't even put Icon Brickle in the same ca caliber no. at, at, at all. I mean, like it's a completely different quality and, um, Development because I mean that's 1,800 units. This is only 150, exactly. and like the service, I mean you can't compare it. But if you if you want to find a comparable, maybe Santa Maria, but that's 1997. That's 20 years ago. 20, 20 years, years no, ago. 30 and, years. Yes, and you don't have 30 the, years. the brand experience or the services and amenities. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. You can't compare it. But I'm just no. saying, like you really have to go back a long time to find another building. 20 years ago, like Four uh, Seasons. We have Four Seasons. Uh, not Bayfront though. But it's not Bayfront. Not Bayfront. And you so, have a hotel component in St. Regis. We mm -hmm. have residences only. We want to keep the privacy and exclusivity of our residents. So that's what's going to make this development so sought after and so special. 150 units only. Most of these buyers are probably going to be end users that are using it as a second, third home, fourth home, a possibly primary residence. But these are people that are going to be holding it. They're, they're, not, they're not investors looking to rent it out. These are people that are actually going to be using it. And so I'd be surprised if 5% come back on the market. You know, and so there's going to be all these high net worth individuals coming in in 2027, relocating here for not only you know Citadel and all these other corporations that are you know at the top of their game. Like um, I, I know Citadel, they were talking about they're going to be very picky about the tenants that they put into their office building. That they're going to only they're going to go after you know like the Googles, the Microsoft, those types of companies, and those are going to bring obviously high paying jobs to the area that. Um, yeah, if there's only 5%. Yeah, we have also the office building uh, from Oak on 8th mm -hmm. and South Miami. That's going yep. to be And also that's going to be completed, what, by the end of this year, right? By or the end of this year. Beginning of next year, maybe, something like that. So, so it's exciting times. Yeah, very, very Miami exciting is changing. Ages. I feel like every every year we're, we're getting hotter and hotter, and it just going to, you know, it keeps, it keeps moving in that direction, not only for for the quality of jobs that we're getting to the area, but the quality of restaurants, the quality of the entertainment. It's, it's becoming a, a very unique and so highly sought after place to live. Exactly. So with that being said, let's take a look at the sales gallery. Let's go. So this is the model residence. The beautiful sales gallery. Gorgeous. With beautiful views of Biscayne Bay. Mm -hmm. This will be our standard kitchens. Okay with Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances, Italian cabinetry, beautiful quartz and travertine countertops. We're one of the few developments that offer gas cooktops. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. Very rare. Sub-Zero refrigerators. And a full-size wine cooler by okay. Sub-Zero as well. And I believe you mentioned the other day, this is kind of the size of a a kitchen for a three bedroom residence. Correct? This will be, uh, yes, but uh, this just to show you the finishes depending mm -hmm. on the floor plan, okay. the size varies. Yeah, so some of them are have even larger kitchens. A little bit larger, correct. And you have cabinet space down in the front over there. Of course, every single cabinet is utilized, which we love. Oh, they have the Lazy Susans over there. Nice. These kitchens are designed by David Rockwell. Beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, they really from maximize Italy. the space. Absolutely. With glass cabinetry. And the backlighting is included? Everything is included. All our residences come with different types of flooring. Okay, I was about to ask you that. Different colors of porcelain tile. Mm -hmm. We also have stone and wood options. So this is travertine? This so is travertine, it's gorgeous. Buyers have the option of stone and wood. Absolutely, and we also have different colors for the cabinetry. Okay. Light and dark. Great. 
Let's take a look at the bedroom. Now we also have lighting packages mm. with Lutron okay. options. And the sound? And sound as well. I mean, we can customize it depending on each resident, each buyer. Uh, then also we have uh, 10 and a half foot ceilings like this. And each residence, do they have the double entry doors? Absolutely. Each residence, even our two bedrooms plus then have 10 foot doors, double entry. Beautiful. Let me walk you to our primary bedroom. Let me show our primary bedrooms with 10 foot doors, beautiful midnight bars. Every single residence has a midnight bar in their primary bedrooms. And the fixtures are all standard? All standard. Mm -hmm. Great uh, linear ACs. Beautiful. Let me show our closets and our bathrooms as well. This closet's to die for. This closet is beautiful. Wow. So this is to give an idea to buyers of what their closet can look like. This is this is not standard. This but is not standard. It could be an upgrade option. It can be an upgrade option. Absolutely. This is quite an upgrade option. Beautiful Loro Piana leather. Mm -hmm. Wow. Incredible. Our bathrooms come standard. Each primary bathroom comes with double sinks, double toilets, and a beautiful wet room with self-standing tops. And this is just for show, right? This is. Normally, it'll be a floor to ceiling glass window. Normally, depending on the floor plan, we have floor to ceiling glass okay. or just enclosed stone. And even rooms. in the bedroom that we just passed, that the wall was kind of up to there, but that's just for show. Yeah, just for show because mm -hmm. we are working with what we had an before, existing building, yeah. an existing building, but all the, the glass will be floor to ceiling. Door bridge fixtures, mm -hmm. very same ridges with the matte gold colors. Okay, perfect. The total two water toilet. closets? <laughs> the total closets? Two water closets. Okay. Like. Beautiful. Why don't we head out to the front of the sales gallery where we have the model? That way we could show people exactly what Absolutely. the television looks like. Venetian plaster? We have Venetian plaster. Beautiful monochromatic tones, that's what the designer wanted to achieve. Okay. <laughs> it's a gorgeous scale model. So what do we have here? Let's explain to the audience, I guess the, the composition of the floor plans again, Absolutely. now that we're standing in front of the model. So now, we have from the first floor to the seventh floor, we have some of the amenities. Okay. Right in the back we have our parking garage, then we have our pool deck, our west pool deck with two beautiful villas, pickle court, mm -hmm. uh, barbecue areas. Then on the other side, we have our east facing pool on top of our fine dining restaurant. We have a marina, which is amazing. Okay. We also have a yacht club. Yeah, that's one thing we forgot to mention earlier. Yes, all our residents will be members of a, a yacht club. So okay. they can have, if they don't have their own boat, they can mm -hmm. charter a boat for a day, different sizes, of course, 60, 70, 80, 90. We have a pick up, a drop off area as okay. well. And also we have our fine line restaurant in the ground floor with beautiful gardens around. So speaking of the ground floor, just to explain to the audience, back here is Brickell Avenue. So That's correct. viewers are going to be entering here. There's a, a gate here. Correct, to, through the dramatic canopy of trees mm -hmm. that so Enea is actually designing. And then you can come to the other side and arrive to a beautiful entrance. There. Yes, to a beautiful sculpture. Mm -hmm. And this is an impressive receiving area designed by Robert Stern. And these back here are the villas? Those are the villas. So the price ranges, to talk mm -hmm. about them. Okay. Our villas are between 29 to $30 million. Okay. Then we have our two bedrooms plus then, 2,600 square feet, overlooking yeah. south. Those range between 3.8 million up to $4.9 million. Mm -hmm. Then we have our three bedrooms facing north. Uh, they're 3,000 square feet and they range from 4.8 to $5.9 million approximately. Then we have our two, four bedrooms. Uh, they're 3,700 3, square feet, and they range from 6.9 to 9.5 million dollars. Okay. Then we have our combos, mm -hmm. where we combine our two frontal residences, 
uh, around 7,400 square feet. Wow. They go from 14.9 to 19 million dollars. And then we have our combos facing south. They are mm -hmm. 6,200 square feet. Those are BD lines combined, and they go from 13 million to 15 million dollars. Okay. Then we have our sky residences, our, our, our duplexes, okay. our 25 foot ceilings. They go from 25 to 35 million dollars. And then we have one penthouse left. Mm -hmm. That's about fifty million dollars. Okay. Three stories. Three stories. Correct. All of our residences have private elevators. With a private pool. With a private rooftop. Yes, there is with a pool. Beautiful. Spectacular. And I was asking you the other day, what's selling better, the north side of the building or the south side? And for those unfamiliar unfamiliar with the views here, the north side has the skyline Highlights. view, the, the lights at night. So it's a yeah. very beautiful view. But typically, the south side always sells better because there's more natural light. But it really just depends, right? So you, like they're, it's like probably like 50-50 split as far Absolutely. as... Absolutely. It's funny because we have some uh, clients, some mm -hmm. of the residents, they love the north. Yep. And some love the south. And some, the wife and the husband, they love both. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on, on what you like. As yep. you said, the north view has a beautiful view of Miami Beach, the port of Miami. Yep. You have also the Brickell skyline. Yeah, you can see Fisher Island from you up there. You can Island. see South Beach. Absolutely. In everything. the South View, you have Key Biscayne, mm -hmm. Coconut Grove, so more like a uh, water view. A lot more water and a quiet. Water. There's not as much action, but some people love that. You know, they want to be more like zen in their home. Exactly. Whereas some people, especially like the the, the urbanites that they're come come from New York or Chicago, they do appreciate that skyline view at night as well. So. It really depends so on So we have your both style worlds for each and your taste, yeah. different customer. And as I was saying, so the amenities go from floors ground to six. Okay. And then we have, of course, on the 31st floor, a beautiful li uh, library bar. Okay. As I said before, St. Bridges is all about its rituals and traditions, all and new. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing cognac room, also signature of St. Bridges. Nice. Uh, with a poker table, uh, pool table, then we also have our drawing room, the tea room, to, for mm -hmm. the afternoon tea that St. Bridges is also known for. Very cool. And each room has its own design. We have an amazing wine cellar, so our residents can actually store their wine as well. We will have uh, wine tastings around the world. The sommelier will give you uh, tastings for Cabernet, Brunello, Chianti. Nice. So it's, it's, it's amazing. It's all the 31st floor. Mm -hmm. And um, we, I don't know if you guys know, but Bloody Mary was invented in St. Bridges back in I, New York, I heard, yeah. back in the day. That's great. So we have an amazing Bloody Mary, champagne toast okay. at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. every day. Every yeah. day. <laughs> so all the amenities like and services of St. Bridges, you will have them here okay. at 18th and Brickell. Fantastic. What else should we know? Did we leave anything out? Well, the butler. <laughs> oh, yes. For us, the butler, which we have Osvaldo right there standing, uh -huh. um, it's an ethos. Okay. Basically, they know you better than you know yourself. Mm -hmm. They will unpack the bags, pack the bags, go to the grocery, and do your groceries for you. Mm -hmm. They basically have in a database. To be a butler in St. Bridges, you need to be trained mm -hmm. for it. You, you go to like the butler school, and they teach you. And, and it's amazing because you have all the services. If you want to rent a boat, if you want tickets to the theater, you have the concierge as well mm -hmm. with experience in hospitality. And that's what is the most important thing about St. Regis is St. Regis is a hospitality brand, one of the best in the world. And that's what you get mm -hmm. living here. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for all the no, information. St. You. Regis is one of the, if not the most exciting development in all of Miami because it is on the bayfront, as I mentioned, there aren't any others in, in Brickell that are on the bay. And because of the brand, because of the, the architect, architect, it's just such a, well. an amazing team when you put everything together that you know, really it's, it's such a, a great option for buyers relocating here and also the local buyers as well. Absolutely. So thank you very well, much for being on the show. Please, we'll see you here in St. Yes. Regis whenever you guys want to come. Before Thanks again. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in purchasing a unit at the St. Regis Residences Miami, be sure to contact me, Lucas Lechuga at lucas at miamicanoinvestments.com or you can reach me on my cell phone at 786-247-6332. Again, thank you for watching, but before you leave, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like down below.